In this lesson, we'll be building this simple pulse where an element grows and shrinks back to its normal size. We can use the same technique to have something fade in and fade out, or even wiggle. It's only a few steps, I'd encourage you to watch the video, and of course, you need to build this on your own so that you get familiar with these techniques and they become second nature. Let's go. All right, so here we're going to work on our simple pulse, okay? So let me take the ball out of the library, place it on the stage. We'll go to my align panel, command K, and we're going to align it exactly in the center. And here we're just going to be doing a basic scale pulse, okay? So we want to get bigger and then return to its normal size. So for this, what I'm gonna do is add a keyframe in frame number 15 by hitting F6 and then another keyframe in frame 30 by hitting F6. So as we know, every time we add a keyframe, it creates a duplicate of whatever was in the previous keyframe. So in frame one, frame 15, and frame 30, everything is exactly the same, all right? Now I'm gonna go back to the middle frame, which is frame 15. I'm gonna select my free transform tool, and the shortcut for that is going to be Q, it's a good one to know. So let me just click off, and if I have my regular selection tool and I hit Q, it's going to give me the free transform tool, all right? And I'm going to scale up by holding down Shift, all right? So by doing that, I'm only changing the symbol in frame 15. Remember back to the beginning, what I do in this keyframe is not going to affect frame one or frame number 30. So now what I wanna do is just tween in between those states. Create classic tween, create classic tween. So now when I go back to the beginning, we scale up and then back down. And so that's what I'm calling my simple pulse. So in animations like this, where you know you're going to be returning to the initial state, I like adding my middle and ending keyframes at the beginning. It's a neat little trick. So again, it's a very simple animation, very basic I should say, but it's one of these things you'll be doing a lot. So again, I want you to open up the start file, try to build this on your own. If you get stuck, watch this video until you have these steps memorized, all right? This is the kind of beginner stuff I need you to have down pat so that we can speed through the bigger lessons ahead, all right? Awesome. Normal, Daddy.